So now let's uh, just look at uh, dynamically induced EMF. Okay, right. Dynamically induced EMF. So to get dynamical induced EMF, we require what excitation? DC source. Okay, we require DC source for field excitation. Okay, we require DC source for field excitation. So that is dynamical induced EMF. It is uh, present in all generators, which are nothing but DC generators and synchronous generator. DC generators and synchronous generator. So this is a dynamical induced EMF for mathematical analysis. So the magnitude, okay magnitude is given by flux cutting rule okay it is given by a rule called as flux cutting rule okay this is one important uh, bit okay magnitude of dynamical induced dmf is given by flux cutting rule so what does this flux cutting rule states okay now according to flux cutting rule suppose there is a constant magnetic field like this there is a constant magnetic field and i placed a conductor in that magnetic field okay this is some conductor in that magnetic field okay where b is the flux density of that magnetic field l is the length of that conductor and this conductor is not just like that it is moving okay it is rotating or moving with some velocity v it is moving with some velocity v and at certain point or at certain instant it is making some angle theta okay with the magnetic flux okay it is making some angle theta with the magnetic flux okay that theta is known as a flux cutting angle and uh, based on these variables it is defined that induced emf okay induced emf e induced emf e is equal to b into l into v into sin theta where b is this flux density l is the length of the conductor and it is not the total length of the conductor but it is also called as le effective length or active length of the conductor means that length of the conductor which is actually linking okay which is actually linking to the flux how much is it linking to the flux see this length okay this portion of its length okay completely okay this portion given with the red color this is the effective length or the active length of the conductor which is actually present in the magnetic flux and v is the peripheral velocity of that conductor sine theta is the sine of the flux cutting angle okay so this is uh, according to flux cutting rule the magnitude of a dynamically induced emf now let us see statically induced DMF case.